The Florida Current, an online news service smartly covering politics and policy. Subscribe for free daily alerts at thefloridacurrent.com. Call it a food fight in Washington. School nutrition standards put in place just two years ago could now be relaxed. The Florida School Nutrition Association says it's the right move. Programs have lost money. Um, children aren't eating the, the, the food that's being offered right now, so we just really want to kind of be able to catch up. The school food lobby group says school lunch participation dropped off in Florida by 15,000 meals a day because of the nutrition requirements. What they see is children not eating some of these fr fruits and vegetables, throwing away food, and you can have the most nutritious meal in the world. If a doesn't, student doesn't eat it, it has not been nutritious for that student. If the standards remain in place, schools would be required to have whole wheat pastas, lower sodium foods, and more fruits and vegetables next year. What's on the menu for your kids this summer? The state's Department of Agriculture is providing free meals for kids throughout the summer. Kathy Reed is one of the administrators of the program in Leon County. It feeds more than 3,000 kids a day. Change is always difficult, uh, but it's needed. I'm not sure that the change should happen as fast as it's happening. I think we need more time uh, to do the things that we need to do. The federal proposal would allow schools losing money to be granted a waiver from the program. Reporting in Tallahassee, I'm Matt Gelka. In Tallahassee, Matt Gelka, News Channel 8. 3, 2, 1. In Tallahassee, Matt Gelka, News Channel 7. 3, 2, 1. In Tallahassee, I'm Matt Gelka reporting for NBC 6. 3, 2, 1. In Tallahassee, Matt Gelka, TV 20 News. 3, 2, 1. In Tallahassee, Matt Gelka, Channel 3 News. 3, 2, 1. In Tallahassee, Matt Gelka, WCTV Eyewitness News. 3, 2, 1. In Tallahassee, Matt Gelka, Wink News. 3, 2, 1. In Tallahassee, Matt Gelka, Channel 4, The Local Station.